Greetings, I'm Father Chuck Tobin, and I'm the retired priest from here at St. Sabina Parish in Belton. You know, Labor Day is coming up, or Labor Day weekend is coming up, and we often think about that as a wonderful time to relax, and it's, as a matter of fact, it's the biggest sales day other than Christmas in the entire year. So it's also a big economic time. But for us in the church, there's a tremendous connection between our concern about people's rights as workers and this Labor Day weekend. Labor Day got started way back in 1896. And at that time, it was a sense that there was a lot of foment about workers and about unions and there'd been strikes and some violence and things going on. And because of that, there was quite a bit of change, both in the church as well as in the government. So the government did declare something called Labor Day, the first Monday in September this year, of course, September the 5th. Well, Labor Day not only became the first Monday in September in the United States, and now all of the states have ratified that, but it's also in Canada. And it's a little unusual because we don't even have the same Thanksgiving Day as Canada does, but this is one day when we share it with Canada. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, we don't share it with a lot of international communities. Many places around the world celebrate this so-called Labor Day or Workers' Day on May the 1st. And May the 1st, because it was associated with so many of the communist countries or socialist countries, United States didn't want to have anything to do with that, so they set theirs in September. Ironically, the Catholic Church, because there was so much concern about workers on May the 1st as a workers' day, the United States, or the Catholic Church rather, set that day as a feast day and declared it as St. Joseph the Worker. Even here in our own diocese, we now have a parish called St. Joseph the Worker out in Independence. Well, there is no Catholic feast day for Labor Day, for September, the, the first Monday in September. But it is an important day for us as people of faith. We really do believe that going way back to the days of 1891 with a document called Rerum Novarum, at about the same time the United States declared it as a workers' day, the church declared a document about workers and the importance of rights for workers and even the rights of people to organize, or in other words, labor unions. And yet today, there are many groups that want to take away the rights of unions or have right-to-work laws or other efforts to try to cut back on what labor unions can do. The Catholic Church has been very much in favor of unions and of the right to have good working conditions for people. Especially today, that's something that is a real concern with immigrants, with people that come and don't have rights and therefore are often kind of shoved aside or sometimes people would do a roof work and the owner wouldn't pay them and say, well, try and collect it. And of course, they wouldn't dare go to the police or they would be deported. So in this election year, may you and I be very aware of the rights of workers, of minimum wage concerns, that we try to really protect the concerns of workers when there has been such inequality between owners and managers as well as the very lowest workers, that sometimes owners and managers are paid as much as a thousand or ten thousand times as much as one of their workers. So may it indeed be a time for us to give thanks to God. 
for so many who do so much for us. Happy Labor Day, and may it be a wonderful weekend for you and your family.